This fly is called the Wood Special. It was developed by Joe Sterling of Maine back in the 60s and has over the years found its way into many a Northeast Angler's fly box. For a hook, a Dairiki number 700 in size 8 is a good place to start. After securing the hook in my tying vise, I've loaded a bobbin with a spool of UTC 70 denier in black. Get your thread started on the hook shank, leaving an eye length space behind the eye and take a few wraps rearward before snipping or breaking off the tag. Small silver mylar tinsel is used for the rib. A 10 inch length will make numerous flies. Secure the tinsel to the near side of the hook with the gold side facing out. Take thread wraps rearward down the shank, allowing thread torque to carry the tinsel to the far side of the hook. Continue taking binding wraps all the way back to the start of the hook bend. The tail of the fly is made using golden pheasant crest tippets. Mine come from a complete head. Separate out a single well-formed feather from the rest and pull it free. Strip off any of the short fibers from the stem and while keeping their tips aligned, snip off a dozen or so nicely marked fibers. Measure to form a tail a little more than a hook gap in length then lay the fibers against the near side of the hook and take thread wraps to secure them to the top of the shank. Make sure your wraps go all the way back to the start of the bend. Then, take spiral wraps forward to bind the fibers down, forming the underbody of the fly. Medium-sized fluorescent orange ultra chenille is used for the body of the fly. For this size hook, a segment, two card widths in length, works well without a lot of waste. Lay one end of the chenille on top of the hook shank at the location of your tying thread and take nice firm thread wraps to secure it. Go all the way back to the base of the tail. Once the segment is bound down, make open spiral wraps of tying thread back up the hook to the initial tie-in point. Get hold of the chenille and start making touching wraps with it up the hook shank to create the body of the fly. When you reach your tying thread, use it to anchor the chenille then snip the excess off at a shallow angle. You can then take a few more wraps of tying thread to further secure the material. Get hold of the tinsel and start taking wraps. It should flip over so the silver side is facing out. Make even open spiral wraps to rib and segment the fly. Five or six turns generally looks pretty good. When you reach your tying thread, use it to anchor the tinsel, then snip the excess off close. A single wood duck flank feather is used to create the wing of the fly. Begin by stripping off all the lower fuzzy fibers and any others that appear to be a little short. In other words, you want all the tips of the feather to be roughly even. To collapse the wing, grip the stem firmly in the fingertips of your right hand, then roll the fibers back and forth around the stem with your left. Don't be afraid to really get after it here. You want the fibers to have a nice curve and be stuck together to create a relatively narrow wing. Measure so the wing extends to the tip of the tail, then anchor the feather to the top of the hook shank with several nice tight turns of tying thread. You can then lift the butt end of the feather up and snip it off at an angle. This will allow you to take more thread wraps to produce a smooth landing surface for the next step. For the hackle, I'm going to use a single grizzly hen feather that's soft and webby. Its fibers are just a bit short of a hook shank in length. Isolate the tip of the feather, then snip it off square, leaving a small triangular tie-in anchor. Lay the anchor against the near side of the hook and take thread wraps to secure it. Keep taking thread wraps forward to the back edge of the hook eye. Get hold of the feather stem with hackle pliers and gently preen the fibers rearward so they fold on either side of the stem. Then, start taking wraps with the feather, preening the fibers rearward as you go. Three or four turns should be plenty. When you reach bare stem, use your tying thread to firmly anchor it to the hook shank. Then, reach in with the very tips of your tying scissors and snip the excess off close. Preen the fibers rearward again, and this time take thread wraps to hold them back at an angle and to neaten up the head of the fly. Once things are looking good, do a four or five turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip or cut your tying thread free. I like to coat the thread wraps with a small drop of UV Cure resin 
to ensure they don't come unraveled and to build up a glossy little head on the fly. Give the resin a quick shot of UV light and your wood special is ready to fish. Overall, it's a great looking pattern, but it's the curved, narrow wood duck wing that really sells it for me.